All right, let's take a look at templates for Azure Functions. So Azure provides function templates to get you started with common functionality scenarios. This is gonna happen when you first create your function. Now you don't have to use one, but definitely this is the route that you should want to go, especially if you're choosing HTTP trigger, which is very common. So uh, to choose a template, you're gonna be doing that in Visual Studio Code, so you don't do it in the portal. Uh, but let's kind of walk through the templates we have available. So we have HTTP, so triggered by HTTP request and returns an HTTP request. We have a timer, so triggered based on a schedule. Blob storage, triggered when files are uploaded, updated in a blob storage container. Cosmos DB, triggered when processing a new modified Cosmos DB document. Queue storage, triggered by Azure storage queue messages. Event grid, so triggered by event from event grid. So many Azure services can be triggered as a function through event grid, because as we cover event grid in this course, a lot of sources can be ingested into event grid. Event grid is serverless event bus integrated with Azure service as we do cover at other parts in our course. Uh, event hub, so triggered by an event hub event. So this is for streaming. Service bus queue, so triggered by a bus queue. This is messaging. Service bus topics, so triggered by uh, an event from a bus topic, so this is a uh, pub sub model. Then you have send grid, so triggered by an email event in a third party service send grid. If you ever heard of send grid, it's just for sending out emails. And so there's a lot there. Does it set up the bindings for you? Probably, I never really uh, noticed or checked, but I would think that if you were to set one up for blob storage, you would get um, the binding set up for you in your function uh, uh, JSON, but we will uh, look actually next at function JSON configuration because that is what is next in the course.